Hi everyone. This is a very easy question. I'll classify the question as a GMAT sub 600 level problem solving question in algebra. Within algebra specifically, we'll be looking at a pair of linear equations in two variables. The question actually is a very simple question, but what we are going to be doing in this video is we're going to be looking at the theory behind that question, right? There is a condition that we need to know to be able to solve this question in let's say under half a minute. That's all it will take you in the examination. But we are not just going to state the condition and go away with that. We are going to derive the condition. We are going to look at the logic behind it. So it's more a theory video than actually a video in which we are solving a question. Solving the question is finally rounding things up for us, right? But the theory is where we are going to be focusing as far as this video goes. Let's get started with the question. For what values of k will the pair of equations 3x plus 4y equals 12 and kx plus 12y equals 30 not have a unique solution? That's what we need to do. So at some level, we need to know what is the condition at which these two equations will not have a unique solution. What kind of equations are these two? These two are linear equations in two variables. Both variables x and y are found in both, two variables x and y are found in both the equations and both these variables are raised to a power of 1. The order of the equation is basically 1. So these are linear equations in two variables. We have a pair of linear equations in two variables for which to start with, we are going to derive the condition, we are going to understand the theory behind, when will we not have a unique solution? So the starting point for us is actually to figure out when will it have a unique solution and from there we'll move on to deriving when will it not have a unique solution, right? So we're going to derive the condition when a pair of linear equations and two variables will have a unique solution. We're deriving the condition for the opposite to start with. Let's consider two linear equations in the generalized form ax plus by plus c equals 0 and dx plus ey plus g is equal to 0. What will a linear equation in two variable represent? What will it look like when you plot it on an xy plane? What's a graphic representation of it? Graphic representation of a linear equation in two variables is essentially a straight line. So ax plus by plus c equals 0 is a straight line. Let's call it as L1. dx plus ey plus g equals 0 is another straight line. Let's call it as L2. So we're trying to find out when will these two lines have a unique solution? What do we mean by that? We solve these two equations, we'll get a value. We'll solve these two equations. For instance, we'll get a value for x and y. That is what we call as a solution to this. Let's come to unique or not unique in a while. What does a solution actually mean? Solution x and y on the xy plane essentially represents a point. So if it represents a point and it's a solution to both these equations and these equations represent two lines, it essentially means that that point is a point on this line and that point is a point on this line. The value of x and y satisfies the first equation. The value of x and y, which is a solution to these two equations, satisfies the second equation, which means x, y, x, y, the value that you got is a point and it's a point on the first line, it's a point on the second line, it's a point that's common to these two lines. So just of it is, the solution to a pair of linear equations essentially is a point of intersection of two straight lines. Now at how many points can two straight lines intersect? There are actually three possibilities, right? First, it could be this way. In this scenario, these two straight lines represented by let's say L1 and L2 intersect at a unique point. There is only one point in which they intersect. Do they really have to intersect at all? Not necessary. Two straight lines that are parallel will not intersect at all, right? This is line L1, line L2, these two are parallel lines, they do not intersect at all. Third possibility, think about what it could be, unique, not intersecting at all. The third is these two straight lines could be coincident lines, right? This is a possibility. Line L1, line L2, these two lines are actually one and the same. So any point on one line will be a point on the other line, which means they intersect at infinite points. So intersect at a unique point, no point of intersection, intersect at infinite points. Now let's check out, when will this happen and when are these likely to happen? If two lines are parallel, one thing that's clear to us is that their slopes are equal slopes equal. Will the slopes of these two lines be equal? They are coincident lines. Obviously, their slope should be equal. So, for these two conditions, no solution and infinite solution, we realize that the slopes of these two straight lines will be equal. When will therefore we have a unique solution? The lines should not be parallel, lines should not be coincident, which means that the slope should be different. So to have a unique solution, that's a condition we said we'll start with and then go to when it will not have a unique solution. So to have a unique solution, a pair of linear equations representing two straight lines should be in such a way that the slopes of those two lines should be different. 
let's put that into the equation and derive the exact condition from an equations point of view when will it have a unique solution these two are the equations we have ax plus by plus c equals 0 dx plus ey plus g equals 0 let's rewrite both these equations to mimic the y equals mx plus c format which is a generalized form of an equation of a straight line where m is the slope of the line and c is the y intercept of the line let's rewrite the first equation so by this is L1 or equation 1, whichever way you want, you can look at it. By equals minus Ax minus C. So, Y equals minus A upon Bx minus C upon B. Let us look at equation 2 representing line 2. We will rewrite this. So, this is going to be Ey is equal to minus Dx minus G. So, Y is equal to minus D upon Ex minus G upon E. Right. Now, both of these equations are written, y is equal to mx plus c, y equals mx plus c. So, what is the slope of the first line? Slope of the first line is minus a upon b. Slope of the second line is minus d upon e. To have a unique solution, we know the slope should be different. The two slopes should not be equal. So, for a unique solution, minus a upon b should not be equal to minus d upon e. Both sides you can cancel the negative sign. So, it leaves us with A upon B should not be equal to D upon E. I am going to cross multiply this D and B. So, it will leave us with the condition essentially is A upon D should not be equal to B upon E. So, A upon D, the coefficients of X, ratio of that, coefficients of Y, that ratio, they should not be equal to have a unique solution. Right? Let us just put this condition alone in a printed form in the next slide. So, to have a unique solution, the condition to be satisfied <coughs> excuse me, is A upon D should not be equal to B upon E. So, when will they have a scenario when there is no unique solution? This is a condition for a unique solution. When this condition is not satisfied is when we will not have a unique solution. This condition not being satisfied is essentially when the slopes are equal, which is to say A upon D should be equal to B upon E. So, a pair of linear equations and two variables will not have a unique solution when such a condition is satisfied. Let us plug that into this question. What is A in this question? A is equal to 3. What is D in this question? D is equal to k, the coefficients of x in both these equations. What is B in this case? B is equal to 4 and what is E in this case? The coefficient of y in the second equation which is equal to a 12. So, we want A upon D which is 3 upon k to be equal to B upon E which is 4 upon 12. Cross multiply 3 times 12 is a 36, k is equal to 36 upon 4, taking the 12 to the left hand side and cross multiplying both 4 and k. So, this is equal to 9. When k is equal to 9, this pair of linear equations and two variables will not have a unique solution. So, before we round up this question, one last thing, having a unique solution is very clear. Not having a unique solution, we said there are two possibilities, right? It could have no solution, which is when they are parallel lines, right? Or it could have infinite solutions when they are coincident lines. Now, when k is equal to 9, as it happened in this case, will it be a case where it has no solution or is it a case when it, when it will have infinite solutions? How do we determine that, right? So, it will have no solution when a upon d is equal to b upon e is not equal to c upon f which is essentially saying that the c and f are essentially representations of the y intercept in the y is equal to mx plus c format. So, you are saying slopes are equal, y intercepts are different, which is when you are essentially going to have parallel lines. Both their slopes are equal, they are intercepting the y axis at two different points. So, they are parallel lines and they will have no solution. If they are coincident lines, you will realize that their slopes are equal and the place where they meet the y axis is also going to be equal. So, infinite solution will happen when a upon d is equal to b upon e is equal to c upon f. What happens in this case when k is equal to 9? We have a 3 upon 9 which is a 1 upon 3, a 4 upon 12 which is again 1 upon 3, but this is not equal to 12 upon 30. 12 upon 30 is 1 upon 2.5 which is not 1 upon 3. So, a by d is equal to b by e is not equal to c by f. Therefore, we are talking about a scenario where we will have no solution. The correct answer to the question per se is choice A, which is k is equal to 9. But we did quite a bit of theory, understood why this condition is working. So, net net take home three conditions to keep in mind. If you have a pair of linear equations represented by ax plus by plus c equals 0, dx plus ey plus g is equal to 0, they will have a unique solution when a upon d is not equal to b upon e. 
will have no solution when this condition is satisfied. Slopes are equal, not equal to the y intercept. We will have infinite solution when a upon d is equal to b upon e is equal to c upon f. Essentially stating that one equation is a multiple of the other. Something like 4x plus 3y is equal to 15 if you have one equation, 8x plus 6y is equal to 30 is the other equation. The second equation is nothing but 2 times the first equation. That is this scenario. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation. If you like this video, if you have any questions about what we discussed, post your comments in the comment section of this video.